surge. Break. There's no time to lose. Here is thunder. Forgive my late arrival, Lady Fu. We are indebted to you and your forces. The seat of divine foresight relate the battle reports to me. As the Ambrosial Arbor, that's her focus. Lord Ravager Fantilia's strategy was to create civil strife, then let it consume the Sea and Zhou from within. She wanted to use the Arbor to disseminate the power of the Plague's author. Hmm. That is clear to me now. Friends of the Astral Express, I have brought someone with me whom I think you'll be eager to see. Uh huh? I is that... Don Hung? You are Don Hung, right? <laughs> What's with the horns? It's a long story, March. <sighs> it's me. So, you do have secret strength. <laughs> Let us save such reminiscence for later, shall we? My astral guess. When you first appeared on the La Fu, your stated aim was the resolution of the Stellaron Crisis. I was concerned that the Stellaron Hunters harbored ulterior motives and refused your offer. I see now that I was overly anxious. Nevertheless, it is true that the motives of the Stellaron Hunters were not what they appeared. <laughs> In order that the Express and the Sienjo fight side by side, Kafka lured you here and broadened the scope of the crisis. In doing so, she succeeded in making it clear that your sincerity is beyond doubt. The Lafu is in your debt, and I have no right to seek further assistance from you. However, as Lady Fu has explained, the appearance of Fantilia means that the situation is far from under our control. As General of the Law Fu, it would be foolish of me not to ask Don Hong and the rest of you for your strength at this critical moment. Even if the crisis on the Law Fu had nothing to do with the Stellaron, I would be willing to help but I can't speak for the other members of my crew. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. As the crew of the Express, that's the Trailblaze Creed we follow. Still, when the journey gets tough, those words can feel far off. Fear, risk, 
Enemies and death are the obstacles we face in pursuit of the creed. That's why the nameless who are able to stay the course number few indeed. Whether our destination lies before us or behind us, the decision is ours to make. Here, as on the Express, every vote counts. Don Hung? Thank you, Don Hong. <laughs> How am I still one of the nameless? I stand here at the mercy of others without true freedom to speak. <sighs> but as a descendant of the Vidyadara, I will fulfill my duty to the Law Fu. <laughs> Great! Everyone's just as heroic as when they arrived. So, what's the master plan, General? There is no master plan. Only a bet. A bet on the senior Vidyadra's incomplete exuviation charm. And on Dong Hong's ability to access the memories of the High Elder. High Elder? When the Rainbow Arbiter severed the Ambrosial Arbor, Remnants of the curse of the plague's author lingered. In order to make the stemming of those remnants a possibility, the Law Fu invoked the power of the Scions of Permanence. Under the direction of the High Elder, the Vidyadara guided the waters of the ancient sea to flood the Scale Gorge waterscape delve and contain the arbor to commemorate this magnificent feat and sacrifice. Oh, it looks so much like Don Hong. I wonder if... The statue... Is that... Don Hong's brother? <laughs> I see why you might think so. These events occurred a long time ago. Yet successive generations of High Elders have not differed greatly in their appearance. That is, until the current generation. The most recent successor did not inherit the same level of power, and their appearance is that of a child. Do you understand, Don Hong? Since Dong Fong perished, the Law Fu Vidyadra have no longer had an individual capable of performing such feats. But you, who once kept watch over the arbor, should be able to open a way through to that great tree. What happens next is in your hands. Uh, you scared the heck out of me! For a second, I thought you'd annoyed the general. It seemed like you were his prisoner. There I was, thinking up a plan to kidnap you. And it turns out the two of you are old buddies. So... What made you suddenly decide to come down from the express? Aww, how sweet. But... Mr. Yang and I have been holding our own. We're pretty much Sienjo heroes at this point. Anyway, it's great to have you with us, Don Hung. Has coming here triggered your memory? Release your full potential. The power you carry is the key to opening a way through to the Ambrosial Arbor. I knew you'd come. When we first mentioned the Sienjo, there was a sad look in your eyes. They may have banished you, but the Lawfu is still your home. You're a member of the Express Crew, Don Hung. Let's settle this matter as soon as possible. Our journey doesn't end here.
Liberator Lunae's reincarnation. Dong Hong, correct? I've heard your name before. Your name was only erased from the public eye. But as the Master Diviner, I know, and should know, all the records of years gone by. Such archives are of great importance in times of need. I was not born in the heroic and extraordinary era of the High Cloud Quintet. To have seen those legends with my own eyes. Your appearance closely matches the depiction in the annals. Does Vidyatara reincarnation really entail a complete transformation? A new life? The annals mention that Scale Gorge Waterscape was once the location of Dragon Palace. Small wonder. Look at all these submerged structures. I was fortunate enough to be here during the Shuhu upheaval period. I witnessed this place in its prime. An age passed. The palace was left in ruins. And the Vidyadra used their sacred homeland to imprison the Arbor. <laughs> Lady Fu. Here, General. Remain here. Lead the Cloud Knights in defense of this passage. We must prevent further incidents. Jing Yuan. General, are you planning to face Gantilia alone? <laughs> I wouldn't say so. I'll be counting on a few friends for support. General, don't cast us aside. We're willing to go with you. Yes, General. We may not be the mightiest force, but it's our duty as Cloud Knights to protect the Xianzhou. How can we let Outworlders face the danger while we stay behind the lines? I understand your sentiments, soldiers. But the adversary ahead of us is not an abomination of abundance. They are a Lord Ravager of the Antimatter Legion. Crossing this line will bring you into the conflict between the Rainbow Arbiter and the Ruin Author. You have a more important duty. Cloud Knights, attention! After I enter the Ambrosial Arbor, and if the seawater returns to its original state, you must withdraw immediately and seal off the delve once more. The Master Diviner will lead you. Yes, yes General. General! Lady Fu. If I am unable to return, I entrust you with the important task of relaying the full account to the other Sienjo ships. I trust you will be here to reissue the order in person. But whatever the outcome, I will do as you command and honor the mission. <laughs> Spoken like a true general.
coming. You've lost your senses. You think this will gain the trust of the Ciencio natives. Those who are not of our kind can never be of our mind. I understand your misgivings, but my decision is made. That is the course we must take. I... Very well. In that case, I will report you to the Preceptors and have you stripped of the name and power of the High Elder. This must be... the first High Elder that accepted the mission to quell the Ambrosial Arbor. According to tradition, from then on, successive High Elders were obliged to return to the Dragon Vista Rain Hall. They would guide the tides of the ancient sea to guard and strengthen the Arbor Seal. Do you remember now? Yes. Reverence to the Three Talents, the path to the Great Roots. It's the way to the Root Depths. Uh, is that some kind of riddle? Reverence to the Three Talons. What the heck does that mean? Don't worry about it. Just follow me. Oh, what a huge palace. Completely abandoned. That must have been difficult for them. Imagine how upset you'd be if you had to abandon me. <sighs> for the Vidyatara, it must have been a necessary sacrifice. This is one of the places mentioned in the riddle. One of the three talents. If we can break the seal here, we'll be a step closer to the roots of the arbor. Those seals you mentioned, do you mean these weird-looking stone lanterns? That's right. From what I recall... Hey, check it out! The bases of these stone lanterns are different. Received word from Lady. Who? The depth of Ventilia's infiltration, along with her meticulous planning, makes her extremely difficult to guard against. The Cloud Knights will carry out an investigation, but for now, our most pressing matter is to put a stop to Ventilia's scheme. This seal was already on the verge of breaking before the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. Seals have you at a loss. Could the murals in our vicinity be related to the seals? And as the day is almost gone, return alone to water's song. Beneath the waves in silver shell, await new life that time will tell. The worldly limit of the Vidyadva is reached after seven centuries. They return to the ancient sea and form a shell, awaiting the next hatching rebirth. This mural is pretty interesting. This mural must be related to the others here. 
It tells the story of the Vidyadara self-reincarnation, from hatching rebirth in the ancient sea, to the return to that same sea as the cycle begins again. Hey, do you think this could be related to the seals? Perhaps. Perhaps? Ah, uh, fair enough. It's tough racking your brains all the time. People sing the hymn of clouds and dance to water's cherished sounds. This mural portrays the Vidyadara young. They acquire knowledge and depart for different places on the Shenzhou. Our reincarnation's greatest cost, the wisdom of a past life lost. Yet through the teachings of our kind, unto the young again consigned. The mural depicts the Vidyadara being guided by their elder. Beneath the lunar glow adore, Vidyadara eggs begin to form, and from the ancient sea rebirth, to walk again on solid earth. This mural describes the Vidyadara hatching rebirth in the seals have you at a loss. Could the mules in our vicinity be related to the seals? Head to the third seal. Let's wait and see. The last of the three talents is here. There are abominations up ahead. Careful, everyone. Don't get complacent. What is it we're waiting for? Divinity. A thousand thanks.
it we're waiting for. No time to lose. Conflict is pitiless. In the name of land, a will forged in ice never falters. Things. Repay. Eternal sleep. The dead return. This ends here. is as ephemeral as dew on a leaf. Did you notice the flagstone the creature was stepping on? I wonder if it has any connection to the sea.
entrance to the Three Talons is complete. Now, we must head for the Roots of the Arbor. Let's wait. The roots of the Arbor are still growing. It's Ventilia. We must hurry. the end. These are the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, where the vestiges of abundance lie. Reverence to the Three Talents, the path to the Great Roots. This is it. Under the power of the High Elder, the Arbor's roots have formed into the image of a dragon. Now, I will break the final seal. I hope everyone is prepared. The general of the Law Fu chosen to grace me with his presence. Ah, that witch! She was here waiting for us the whole time! Show yourself, Fantilia! And the benefactors, too! Oh, patience, patience. Uh, let me make myself presentable. Now I see why the disciples of Sanctus Medicus hold themselves in such high regard. The Arbor's traces really do possess the power of metamorphosis and resurrection. All of you, ready yourselves! Don Hong, guard my back. I'm counting on you. Understood. I'm with you. Antilia!
watching over the other. This ends here. In the name of left will, forged in ice, never falters! Don't mess with me. I'll see you all. On my command, vanquish the abomination! Show no mercy. What a headache. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> I'm the vanguard of the Ciencio. Hope you're prepared. Don't mess with me. I'll see you off. For our conclusion. Vanquish the abomination! Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. It still ends to you, Ventilia. So much effort to crush us. And met with so little success. I wonder what the other Ravagers think. It's almost as if you can't wait to be acquainted. I'm afraid you have a chance. Time to end this. Out of ideas, Fantilia! Show no mercy. In the name of left wheel, forged in ice. Never falters! Eternal sleep, the dead returns! <laughs> you chose the wrong enemy. Receive divinity. A thousand thanks. I am the vanguard of the Ciencio! Forged in ice, never falters. Time to end this. <laughs> Only a scratch. I'll free you from your chest. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. <laughs> Vanquish the abomination. Show no mercy. Eternal sleep is the dead return!
power of the destruction will eat away at your flesh and transform you into pawns of the great Nanook. Let's start with this arrogant slow-jolly Transformation of the Sienjo General into the Void Ranger would cast the law proof back into chaos. Destruction works in fascinating ways. What are you? was a body stolen on a whim. And you, how much longer can you last? The destruction of the Sienjo is nigh. <laughs> Be gone, power of destruction. Tell the Legion that the vengeance of the hunt will fall upon them. <laughs> Still alive. <laughs> and it would seem the two of us can still coordinate our efforts. <laughs> Vantilia, a truly fearsome enemy. If she hadn't attempted to turn me into a pawn of destruction, I'm afraid victory would have been far from certain. <clears throat> Fantilia had established a link between me and herself. Her well-timed strike gravely injured her. Thus, her connection to the Arbor was severed. So it was all part of the plan? When Don Hung stabbed you, I was scared to death. <sighs> it takes more than that to destroy. An emanator of destruction. Still. Fantilia won't be stirring up trouble anytime soon. Don't worry about her infecting the arbor again. It's just that sealing the Stellaron is going to take some time. Leave that to the Master Diviner. Whew. I'm afraid I may be <laughs> somewhat spent. Uh, General, keep those eyes open. Now's not the time to fall asleep. Games of chess will while away the time. What? Life is as ephemeral as dew on a leaf, and full of worldly strife. Dad is an ace pilot! 
Right. He finished the gray sky route in 12 parsecs. Games of chess will while away the time. Life is as ephemeral as dew on a leaf, and full of worldly strife. Diamond in the rough.
Don't get complacent. <laughs> Show no mercy. Conflict is hideous. A will forged in ice never falters. Show no mercy. <laughs> 